Hello folks, to Song of Horror. This will be a new Let's Play, also blind. I've never played this game, nor do I know very much about it, except death is permanent. You can choose multiple characters, and it's quite bloody scary. <laughs> and it also comes highly recommended by Olivia White of the No Sleep Podcast, so that means it's got to be good, right? So, anyway... I'm going to give this game a go uh, with a controller, um, see how I get on. If I struggle, I will switch to mouse and keys, but I do believe this game is controlled much in the vein of the classic Resident Evil um, games that are best played with tank controls. <clears throat> uh, if we just pop to the settings, you can see I'm playing it on Edgar... <clears throat> Edgar Allan Poe difficulty. Um, I was going to try and pump it straight up to HP Lovecraft, but unfortunately, you need to have played the game first to be able to play it on the highest difficulty. Probably a sensible precaution, but uh, it, it would have been nice to just jump straight into this um, uh, with the full expectation of horror. Um, I may, depending on how this playthrough goes, I may take a couple of attempts at this game uh, owing to the fact that death is permanent and, you know, it can certainly change things. But don't hold your breath. It depends on how I get on with it. If I really enjoy this game, we'll just see what happens, won't we? Let's get this started, shall we? So, I think I want to hit new game. Prelude. A Friday like any other. Ooh. Admittedly, I've recently gotten quite heavily into the Cthulhu mythos, so um, I, I heard this game is quite heavily inspired by such things, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. That is an evil music box. That is a music box of pure evil. seem pretty serious. Ah, uh, yes. We recommend using headphones and a controller for a more immersive experience. So that is exactly what I'm doing. I have to hope that I can remember the Xbox layout as I'm using a PS3 controller. September 25th, 1998. Um, so yes, headphones on, lights off. Really get yourself into the mood for this. I know I'm saying that with lights on, but you won't be able to see this beautiful mug otherwise. Everywhere else in this room is pitch black. I love it. Home sweet home. Home sweet home, eh? Uh, my old flashlight, it saved me more than once in the great outdoors. Okay, so push A to investigate, that's what that's about. I guess I can't pick it up then. Those bring back some really good memories. Yeah, we don't need to leave the light on. Let's save the old electric bill, shall we? Nothing more infuriating than people leaving the damn lights on when they're not needed, right? God, I sound like such a dad. Man, the toilet drain stinks, as usual. Somebody needs to hire a cleaner, methinks. We've got ourselves a bit of a door here. Okay. So we switch the lights on. Ah, we're in the kitchen. What do we got over here first? I plan to spend my sun. Oh wait, I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. My videotape collection. I've got quite a few westerns and cop movies. Good old VCRs. I can't wait to see the next X Files episode. <laughs> oh mate. Uh, 1998. 
If you weren't born like 10 years before that, you just can't appreciate it. I should sell that old thing once and for all. But the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the... S oh, not the greatest pizza I've had, but it hit the spot. Damn, I close the curtains again. I'll end up killing this poor plant. You need to stick it on the windowsill, mate. Save you the uh, trouble. Somebody hasn't taken out the trash. Shit, I could have sworn I took out the trash. Um, the fact that your bin is full of trash would suggest otherwise. Some leftover coffee, not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Who are? Uh, squeaky clean, just like it should be. Yeah, that lot's squeaky clean, but what about the pots and pans in your sink? Is this just a freaking storage space to you? You've got cupboards everywhere, but nah, just leave it in the sink. I'm not really hungry. Plus, I didn't get any groceries this week. Well, that's not very clever of you, is it, mate? Let's be honest. Oh. Hmm. Don't need to be in the kitchen anymore, so let's turn that light off. Oh, we can't turn that light off over there. Man, this guy just loved... And I mean, he went out and left that on. I mean, really? Dude. Money doesn't grow on trees. Oh, crikey. Oh. Seriously? Yeah, seriously? I'm trying to look at stuff. My 80s vinyl collection. Maybe next month I'll be able to afford a shelf to put them in. Plenty of cupboards in your kitchen that you ain't using, apparently. Sophie, it takes me back. It takes me. Ye oh, oh my God! I can't read anymore. Sophie, it's taken me years to put these pictures out again. Or those pictures. God damn it! Packed with random stuff. My apartment is definitely too small. Sebastian P. Husher, historical fiction author, he sold four million copies of his last novel. I suppose I'd better get the phone, hadn't I? Hello? Daniel, it's me again. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus, Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. For Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. I plan to take a few days off after this. Well, we'll talk about that once you find him. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Oh, somebody's gone missing. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. Though I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. Hell. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Chin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. 
Oh man, that would well, suck. Could find Husha. I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. The Husher Mansion is a large 19th century colonial house, property of Sebastian P. Husher, acclaimed professor and historical fiction author. The Husher Mansion is home to writer Sebastian P. Husher, his wife Catherine, two, their two children, and something else. You guys, I'm sure, can pause it if you want to read that other bit. I have noticed my camera is covering up some of the subtitles, so I will be shrinking that in just a moment. Gonna wait until we get in the house. And what a fine house it is, maybe. It's looking a little rough around the edges. Front door's been left open. A Friday like any other. Alright, bear with me, folks. Right, okay, so... My screen's a little smaller. Hopefully you'll be able to see this, all the subtitles as they come up. Uh, for those that uh, wish to or need to read them. <laughs> a tricycle. I didn't know Husha had kids. Well, you do now. Is there a run button? There is indeed. The game tells you nothing. Why take the side door when I can take the main one right there? Well, you know, you might find something interesting taking the side door. Did you ever think of that? No, you didn't. A newspaper. That murderer they arrested about a week ago is on the front page. No, oh, I ain't gonna Hello. skip. Is that music? I'd better take a look. I say, dear boy. At least you remember to bring your flashlight. Light source. Each character has their own light source. To turn it off and on, uh, right trigger or push in the right stick. Once it's on, you can choose the direction in which you want to point the light. To do so, use the right stick. This will allow you to illuminate specific areas and also help you interact with objects that might not be right in front of your character. Your light source will never run out. Use it as much as you need. Oh, I've got to push and hold the button. Well, I'm glad about that. that. I'm not going to lie. A music box. It certainly does sound like a music box. They look like travel guides. Uh, the clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. That's a lot of clothes. Is there anyone home? What do you mean a lot of clothes? There's a coat, a scarf, two hats and a bag there. Do you just live in what you're wearing? The alarm seems disabled. Much better. If it goes off, I'll have a lot of explaining to do. You'll have some splaining to do. Usher is in a lot of these frame pictures. The rest must be family guests. Uh, family, I guess. That's weird. What are all those suitcases doing here? The first playthrough of this game. I've got a feeling this game might have some kind of... Or, or I have a worry more. Oh, those paintings are depressing. I'd never put them up in my place. Con yeah, considering your place is squeaky clean. Um, I've got a suspicion that this game is going to favour uh, playthroughs with meta knowledge. I hope that's not the case. Uh, I'm much better since I stopped drinking. Maybe I could ask Sophie out. Bah, focus Daniel. I do like the door opening sequences in this, though, uh, you know, actively going through the door. Nope. That's not where the music's coming from. But you check the bathroom. Not that you needed to. What, did you need to take a whiz? Did the game black out there for just a second? 
Right, that big door is pretty sure where the music is coming from. Okay, what have we got here? A matchbox? Can't think of any reason to burn the house down yet. <laughs> oh, we're in a Lovecraft-inspired household, my dear boy. Always burn the house. They're all covered in dust. This place hasn't been cleaned in days. I don't know if I want to head straight for the music box. Oh, fixed camera angles. Books and plates and oh, books and plates in the same cabinet. Not much order there. Says you keeps your freaking pots and pans in the sink and not the cupboards. Family portraits, I guess. They look old. Man, that mirror is dirty. Just like your ex-wife. The table was set but covered in dust. Where is everybody? Well, I mean, that would be your first clue to just get the heck out, wouldn't it, really? There's something on that doorknob. Yeah, it's good. I'll check it in a minute. Decorative fruit. The expensive porcelain kind. I guess they don't want anyone to think they're poor. Now, I'm well aware of where that music's coming from, but I want to do a bit of exploring. Give me that much, at least. No, the music isn't coming from upstairs. Okay. I guess exploring's out the window. Well, it certainly isn't up the stairs. I probably didn't need to come through this way. So, there's matches there. So, I'm guessing that's a light source for another character, maybe? Oh, man. I'm going to regret this. Oh, there's a window. Documents and items. You have found an examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing A. To examine the back side, use the right stick. You can access your inventory and collect documents at any time by pressing the left or right bumper. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, okay, I've got to hold it down. Uh, first letter from Isaac F Farber. Not sure how to pronounce the A with two dots. A letter for Husher found by Daniel in the author's mansion, post-stamped on August 1st, 1998. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently awaiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favour of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we have purchased at the store, an ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps I should say, ear. The melody, Sebastian, it's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I had never heard the song before, and my attempts at finding the score, or the name or composer, have failed. I cannot for the life of me get that melody out of my head. Okay. Hey, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about said box. Letter addressed to Sebastian P. Husher, 25 Abbott Thomas Road, 4. Interesting. I don't want to go in here, do I? What the? How can there be a door there? 
yeah, that seriously doesn't make any sense considering behind that door should be that cabinet with the f uh, fruit box. There's a classical music album on the record player. There's stuff lying all over the place. It reminds me of my college dorm. Can you hear the notes of sinister undertones currently playing in the background? This radio has to be older than me. And are those rifles real? If they were, I'd certainly be picking one up and loading it. Wow, this guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have fit. Oh, Sophie would have a fit if she saw this. Oh boy. Oh shit. <sighs> Looks like we're going through the door that shouldn't be there. And he was never heard from again. I'd hardly the taken end. a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror. And sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Well, I'd say that was a given. Three days later, a door that should not be achievement unlocked. Etienne? Do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. Yeah, mate. Just keep sending people to their death. It's been three days since Daniel entered the Husher mansion. No one has heard from him since. Okay, well, it looks like we've got ourselves a bit of character select. Okay, right, as you can see, the camera is now up in the top corner, uh, because I was still covering the subtitles, which I'm sure is frustrating for those that rely on them. I do apologise. Anyway, what we have here that I can see and you cannot, we have one Stephanie Van Den End, age 40, light source candle. Uh, life has put Sophie to the test many times, but she always pulls through. 
It was thanks to this resilience that she had summoned the strength to put an end uh, to her failing marriage with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever-elusive prosperity she has always longed for. Okay, so we have stats for the characters. So she's got, uh, I would imagine, a reasonable speed, stealth, strength is a little low, and serenity, whatever that is. I'm wondering if that's some something much like uh, sanity, maybe something along those lines. Scented candles. Whenever I light one, everything around me feels safer and more peaceful. Okay. Uh, apparently, I can push back. Oh, okay. So we can flip to other people. Etienne Bertrand, age 45, light source lighter. Etienne, a confident self-made man, is sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor. In his role as personal assistant, Daniel has become somewhat of an errand boy, but Etienne is slowly giving him greater responsibilities. Although they love to complain about working together, they have grown fond of each other, developing a friendship outside of work that neither of them like to admit. Speed uh, is better, stealth is less, higher strength lower serenity note folder writing down anything important is the secret to remembering etienne oh okay this is somebody we haven't even seen yet alexander laskin age 59 light source candle alexander and his wife marcia are housekeepers at writer sebastian p hush's mansion Watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early 80s in an attempt to flee from a mysterious past that Alexander rarely, if ever, speaks about. Whoa, this dude's got uh, next level strength. Not much serenity, though. Uh, take a good swig from the flask to soothe your nerves when danger lurks. Always work for me, Alexander. Ooh, Alina Ramos, age 32, light source, flashlight. Alina is a passionate hands-down type of learner, always eager to get her hands dirty at work, happy and energetic. She's travelled the world with her sister in search of a better life for them both. Now working as an electrical technician at Monolith Security, Alina is part of a high quality or highly qualified tech support team repairing high-end home security systems for exclusive clients. Walkie t Ooh. Okay, Serenity's a little low, but damn if that speed, stealth, and strength ain't good. Walkie talkie, it doesn't work very well. It picks up a lot of weird interference. Hmm. Okay, and then we're back to Sophie van den End. Okay, so we're going to take Sophie. Seems like the obvious choice. Though, to be fair, I can see where the the home security would come in as the security system has been disconnected at the Husher place. So they would be going to check on that. Um, the question is, would, would who would get there first? That's the thing. Do you think Sophie would get there first? Or do you think Alina Ramos would already be there wondering why the security system isn't working. I mean, it's been several days now. Hmm. All right, we're going to go with Sophie because it seems like the obvious choice. It's been three days since Daniel went to the Husher mansion and no one has heard from him since. Yeah, we've already had that one. Don't forget your usual source of light. Remember, you can choose what or where to shine it on. I'm sorry, love. September 28th, 1998. I'm, I, I think I'm about to get you killed. A fucking candle. No. Nope. Yeah, what is uh a tricycle? It's wet, beginning to rust. Must have been here for days. It's totally jammed. Probably hasn't been opened for years. Yes, let's let's change up the old uh Okay, so I wonder if we'd be able to see the same things. 
Okay, so it's easy as that to light and uh, extinguish the candle. A newspaper that's been through a storm. I can hardly read a word. One. The Husher Mansion. Lady! The door was open. Is there anybody home? Fucking dark ass house like this and you're shouting for it. Do you have any self-preservation at all? Books in the foyer? You won't find me complaining. This, clock's is, this clock is turn of the century. Just lovely. Though the time isn't set properly. Coat's hung up. Somebody must be home then. Uh, mm. There are greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Hold up. Hold up. This shower was shut. Them curtains was shut. Oh, mate, that music. A burglar alarm. How modern. A moat with crocodiles would be more fitting in this house. <laughs> Hey, we're entering areas we couldn't before. Tears in the Wind by Liam Edelman. It's lovely, melancholy, and has macabre touches. God, I've started to think the same way I talk to clients about works of art. I think that was works of art. Yeah, it was works of art. Look at that. I finished a sentence without even reading it. Oh, I'm a clever boy. Considering I can't read a proper bloody sentence to save me life. Right, there, there is something there that I'm supposed to be able to interact with. Oh. Oh, for the love of... There we go. Packed suitcases. They're everywhere. But were they arriving or departing? Got another door there. Can we light the candle on the side? No. Phasmophobia, this ain't. door is locked shut. Fucking hell, that actually scared me. I don't know why that scared me. Dark ass room. Wait. Oh, wow. An old bicycle. A tad broken down, but it is still pretty. Really gotta you you gotta point your light in the right direction in this game, let me tell you. I love motorcycles, but I've never mustered the courage to drive one, especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. He's not wrong, love. Old metal box. A rusty old box. Metal shut. Cause words. English. Can't speak. More no. Ugh. Uh, I don't understand how I could use that item here. Hold up. Okay. An old metal box screwed shut. Uh, bloody hell, it's screwed down. Uh, I can tell you this for nothing. I know where... I can find a screwdriver. It's a sordidly pile of tools, but no flathead screwdriver. I know where there was a screwdriver. Mm -mm. Here's the boiler. It's receiving no electricity like the rest of the house. Hmm. I wonder if I should have brought the electrician here first. Boiler functioning, upper panel, shut down, press the left button, start, press the central button, emptying, press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for four seconds. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, I read that without needing to do that, so. 
There you go. I don't think I can find much else in here. I mean, seriously, right? I I understand that you'd want to be all the independent mm -hmm. type and what have you. Can't open it. It's locked from the other side. Um, but when you roll, I mean, even as a bloke, right? Even as a bloke, when you roll up to a dark ass, big ass house like this. The first thing you do is not step inside. The first thing you do is you call the goddamn police. Old photos of family trips. Oh, hello. Uh, dusty note. A note found in the mansion entrance. Written by Catherine, Hush's wife, on September 4th, 1998. Read. My dear eccentric hu My dear eccentric husband. I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back, and I don't want them playing with it. Nothing on the back. Alright! The Death Marches by Carla Schlommel. It was inspired by the prisoner transfers which took place in World War II. I wouldn't put it in my home. A pile of suitcases seems a bit much, even for a long journey, but I don't think they're moving either. Oh, bugger me sideways. Alright, I know where there's a screwdriver. I wonder if exploring upstairs might be safer first. I should take a look on this floor first. Really? Really? You're gonna railroad me like that? Oh, mate. Well. The matches are still there. Yes. Uh, just an or ordinary matchbox. Huh. There are plenty of matches left. Okay. Um. I'll achieve nothing this way. A delicate, quite elegant dinner service, but covered with dust. Can't see anything, it's covered in filth. I'm actually starting to get a bit nervous. <laughs> Old family photos in black and white. The table has been set for four, but they never appear to have eaten their meal. Dishes and books in the same little cupboard. Odd way of arranging things. Porcelain fruit, candlesticks, an English tea set. All very old and dusty. Go through that door there. That door there. God. Why am I why am I doing this? Why do I do this? I would fit under that table quite easily were I in need of hiding. <sighs> okay. There's a screwdriver in there. I saw it on the table when Daniel was there. There's also going to be a freaking monster in there, isn't there? Uh uh. Oh god. I need a key to open it. So, 
has the mother been back there recently then? Is that the shtick? Is this room ain't fucking spooky at all? Good music with good wine, in other circumstances. The carving on the chess piece is, is quite exquisite. It's been years since I've been seen one of these telephones, since we sold my parents' old house. Novels written by Husher. I don't consider myself a fan, but I admit his books are addictive. Huh. I never understood why people have to murder defenseless animals for sport. Huh. Wait till you see the next room. There is soot all over. Perhaps I could get it to light somehow. Hmm. Well. Ah, uh, first I need something to get it lit. Wait. Okay, so clearly we need to find some kind of fuel for the fire. History magazine, history magazines. I actually subscribe to some of these. A wilted plant sometimes happens to mine when I have a long going on at the gallery, or when I have a lot going on at the gallery. Sorry, getting nervous, even though, as you know, my reading isn't the best. Oh, God. Something's gonna happen. Seeing so many bottles in one place reminds me of Daniel and unpleasant times. An upright piano. I played one just like it as a girl. Oh god. Historical novels like those authored by Husher. It's cheap entertainment but devilishly addictive. Lovely camera. Wait, it's only a replica. A world globe from the 18th century. Husha must deal with some very choice collectors. Yeah, I can imagine. I must admit I could spend weeks on end in this library. I bet you could. Carb Tales, Noir Novels and... Oh! Psycho by Robert Bloch. Enchanting. Dictionaries, atlases, and manuals in a variety of languages. It looks like Husher does his research before writing. I should have brought a dude to this house. Not being nasty. No, e no even, even having a bloke here. I'm going to get eaten alive. An Olivetti from the 1940s. Or an Olivetti, rather. Uh, Husher is old-fashioned, even when it comes to his work, though I admit it is quite lovely. Yeah, you really gotta get headphones in for this game. I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. Japanese swords. Both look authentic. I could even imagine them as museum pieces. I need a key. I see a key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. Okay, so we don't have any lubrication, I don't think. I'm betting that's what's in the box. Nah, actually, what's on the box says fuses. Honestly crapping my pants right now. 
Is there a save feature? There's not a... Ah! So you can save and exit at any time. I'm so glad about that. The fuck is that? Yep. Instantly feel a lot safer. To be fair though, I don't think I'm getting out, getting through this way. I bet if I was somebody stronger, they'd be able to bust that open. Ah, oh, crap. Back into the spooky house we go. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, it seems we don't have any kind of... Getting you all nervous, love. Where was I? Seems we don't have any kind of map. Uh, which was what I was going to say before that clock went off and actually made me swallow my heart. God. I'll achieve nothing this way. Well, that's wonderful and all. How am I going to... Right, I need to find something to lubricate. Hello folks, after seeing the final footage length, I have decided to split this uh, part up into two episodes. So, I hope you look forward to part two coming shortly, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching the first instalment of Song of Horror. Thank you very much folks, you take it easy, bye bye.